Greetings Laddingtons, I stumbled upon an interesting headline the other day and I thought to share it with you and I think those of you who have been with me for um, a few years since the good old Latsbra days you will find this one particularly interesting. It's, um, it's a crazy timeline we're in at the moment. Before I begin to elaborate upon the news article itself I would encourage everyone to head over to my Telegram channel and follow me there, especially since we're talking about Facebook. Telegram, in uh, my view, will become a substitute for Facebook, so I'm trying to be less on Facebook and uh, share that communication on Telegram instead, so do check that out. Now, on to the headline itself. We can go into CrossFit's homepage. So we have CrossFit Inc. suspends use of Facebook and associated properties. And uh, we also have a, an article from Fox here, which states CrossFit quits Facebook, Instagram, accuses social media giant of censorship and of being utopian socialists. And... Uh, I thought this was really interesting because this is quite um, close to the truth. It's um, it's how it is. Facebook is, um, to a large extent, run by and managed by utopian socialists who are completely out of control when it comes to censoring things. And now, if you had asked me three or four years ago if something like this would happen, I would have become quite surprised. But uh, here we are. So CrossFit, huge fitness endeavor, is... Um, in a little combat with uh, Facebook and I thought something else was really interesting and I thought to mention this because I will talk more about fats, carbohydrates, veganism and um, health in um, not primarily related to training but also related to the health of a population. So we have here on CrossFit's page Recently, Facebook deleted, without warning or explanation, the Banting 7-Day Meal Plan user group. The group has 1.65 million users who post testimonials and other information regarding the efficiency of a low-carbohydrate, high-fat diet. Now, that is very interesting indeed. I will talk more about low-carb high fat diets in um, in coming videos but uh, keep this in mind and also keep in mind the perhaps vegan agenda uh, the agenda to eat less animal fats to eat less animal products but uh, I'm not gonna delve deeper into that at this particular moment in time I just thought to throw that in there to have that in the context of uh, coming videos so reading on in the uh, article on crossfit.com here. These publicly sourced complaints include, but are not limited to, the following. Facebook collects and aggregates user information and shares it with state and federal authorities, as well as security organizations from other countries. Yeah, this is um, absolutely true. It's uh, a concern of regular people, uh, not only right-wing dissidents. Now you have sport organizations getting uh, worried about this sort of misbehavior from Facebook as well and yeah my take on this is the more people who are averse to this sort of behavior the better. Second point Facebook collaborates with government security agencies on massive citizen surveillance programs such as PRISM. Yes also a um, point of concern. Third Facebook censors and removes user accounts based on unknown criteria and at the request of third parties including government and foreign government agencies. Exactly, and this is also, I'm very happy at CrossFit for pointing this out. A few years ago I um, would have been surprised if I said that CrossFit had done something good, but here they are right on the money with uh, these uh, points. Fourth point. Facebook collects, aggregates and sells user information as a matter of business. Its business model allows governments and businesses alike to use its algorithmically conjured advertising categories as sophisticated data mining and surveillance tools. Indeed. Fifth point. 
Facebook's news feeds are censored and crafted to reflect the political leanings of Facebook's utopian socialists, while remaining vulnerable to misinformation campaigns decide, designed to stir up violence and prejudice. And yeah, that is by far the most glorious statement by uh, CrossFit that they even call them socialist and utopian socialist. That's uh, going quite far and uh, absolutely love it. A, um, a good day, this is. Sixth point. Facebook, as a matter of business and principle, has weak intellectual property protections and is slow to close down IP theft accounts. Seventh. Facebook has poor security protocols and has been subject to the largest security breaches of user data in history. And finally, point number eight. Facebook is acting in the service of food and beverage industry interests by deleting the accounts of communities that have identified corrupted nutritional science responsible for unchecked global chronic disease. In this, it follows the practices of Wikipedia and other private platforms that host public content but retain the ability to remove or silence without the opportunity for real debate or appeal, information and perspectives outside of a narrow scope of belief or thought. In this case, the approved perspective has resulted in the death of millions through preventable diseases. Facebook is thus complicit in the global chronic diseases crisis. For these reasons, CrossFit Inc. has placed Facebook and its associated properties under review and will no longer support or use Facebook services until further notice. So, extremely interesting, uh, interesting timeline we are in at the moment, interesting statements by CrossFit and here is something to keep in mind as well for um, us right-wing nationalists is that it's not only us thereafter, it goes deeper than that. And, uh, you know, when you have a lot of big players with big money uh, and then they see something threatening their business idea. So, for example, if you have a company completely dependent upon selling carbohydrate rich foods, for example, yes, they might have a vested interest in shutting down low-carb, high-fat groups on Facebook. It's just an example, but um, something to keep in mind. So anyway, I just thought to mention this. It's uh, I, th I thought it was really interesting, and hopefully for you who have been with me for quite some time, you also found it interesting. So thank you for listening and watching XXO. Boom.